What's up, Internet? It is raining again. Means more gyroids in our future. That's pretty exciting. Anyway, we are here in the town. There's still a sports fair thing to be worried about. But that's about it. We need to get more mail. But we have to go through and sell the stuff we couldn't yesterday because... Of course, obvious things. Uh-oh. I don't know why my cursor is doing that. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So, for some reason, in the inventory, it seems to think we're going downwards. This might require a controller reset that I was not prepared for. Let's see if it's going to happen again. Yes, it is. So, let's reach over to the good old Wii. Unplug. And then replug in. There we go. I have no idea why controllers just need to be reset sometimes. I mean, I know some games it'll like read your initial input as like the neutral position, but I wasn't like pressing down when I started, so I don't know. But, you know, sometimes controllers just need to be reset because the game thinks you're holding down a button when you're not. Although it's always the control stick, it's never the actual, like, face buttons. It's very strange. There's something here, or is that... Oh, those are tickets, okay. What have we got? We got a fossil. A fossil. Paperweight. Fossil. Paperweights. And fossil. That's not a bad little spread. I'm gonna get some bells out of this. Sell, 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 sell. I'll take 2,000 bells. Or 20,000 bells, rather. Now we still have some more stuff we gotta go sell. So we'll just go back and pick up some more mail from our mailbox, as we were. I do believe Crazy Red is coming to town tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow anyway. Might be today, we'll have to go check with Copper, I guess. But uh, Red's coming in the near future, or is already here, which is exciting, because again, more chances to get mail, or mail, uh, paintings. And paintings are going to get us a complete museum, which is useful. Still no new villagers. Not that that's very surprising at this point. We don't get too many new villagers, of course. Is that sports fair happening? Uh, 23rd, okay. Well, we know for sure now. Alright, so, let's go back to Nooks. But first, let's see what we've got in the dump. An ITV. Blue cabinet. We find painting. Which I don't believe is one of the paintings we need. We can, however, go down to the museum real quick and check. We've got a few minutes before Nooks closes. Why don't we throw this away first? Alright, so. We've got a fine painting. Let's see if this fine painting needs a place in the museum. Now, we could talk to Blithers about it, but I think it would probably just be faster to check all the paintings until we find the one that we already have, obviously. Basic. Quaint. Flowery. That one makes sense, actually. Strange. See, at least that one, you can tell from just looking at it what kind of painting it is. The rest of these, they all just use random adjectives. Dainty. Fine. Okay. I like that one. But that means we sell the one we have. And that's okay. So let's go to Nooks. Sell some random crap. And then we actually have to see if he's got anything in stock for us. And of course we have to buy flowers. Because he always has flowers and we always need those. Alright, Nook, I've got a few more things to sell you. 
such as this, and this, and finally this. Let's open this present. Triceratops, nice. Stega skull, and t rex skull. That's actually an even better spread because those are all fossils. Sell, 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 and sell. Oh, we've got a fair number of bells now. Alright, is there anything here we absolutely need? That frog chair is adorable, but we don't need it. Eh, uh, not really. But that frog chair is adorable. Alright, we should take some yellow tulips. Some purple pansies. Some pink cosmos. Some white tulips. And finally, some white cosmos. Alright. 202 bells. It's weird that it is not like a rounded number. Like, I, I really wonder about that, because pretty much everything in this game works with rounded numbers. So how you end up with like two bells is just bizarre. You know, there's a lot of things that are just like that, where just through random happenstance you get like this completely strange number. Like, uh, I think my Xbox achievement score for as little as I care for it ends with like a two, for whatever reason. <laughs> Like, just something had an achievement worth two points. Ugh. Though, if I recall, like, that system was broken out of the box. Like, one of the launch titles had something like, uh, as opposed to, like, the thousand gamer score that a lot of people expect, I think it only had, like, 860 or something weird. I remember hearing about that. I think it was King Kong. Like, just out of the bot, like, out of the starting gate, the achievement system didn't have any standards. Cube, huh? Well, I can talk to Cube for the next six minutes. So I guess we'll go do that. Alright. Let's go talk to our pal Cube. Who's probably gonna complain? We haven't talked to him for a while. Mostly because, you know, he goes to bed too early. Actually, I guess not, because we did talk to him on that, like, Harvest Moon night. That's right, I remember that. I'm just going to pour a whole bunch of water down my shirt. Trying to take a gulp while still being able to play. Turns out you need a lot of hand-eye coordination to play video games and drink water at the same time. Ugh. This is the second time this week I've had a mishap with water while doing this. <gasps> I killed a flower. Okay, well, we gotta get more flowers, I guess. And then I gotta replace that. That's unfortunate, though. Still, let's see what the wishing well says. How are things? Yay! Perfection is what we strive for in our day to day. Any silicants around here? No. Are there any silicants around here? Doesn't look like it. Perhaps there's one... Nope. No coelacanth love for us, it seems. They just despise us. With their rare only spawning when it rains... thing. Damn you coelacanths, you picky, picky fish. The red market. Seriously, I, I don't know why he doesn't cross that out and just write red over top of that. Still. Let's go to the completely legitimate business emporium. Maybe we shall find one of the paintings we are looking for. 
Well, Mr. Red, I'm looking for two paintings. I think they're exclusive to you, which is not good. That's one of the paintings we actually need. I do believe I have a list still, if I may make a whole bunch of noise for just a second. There it is. I tried to clean my desk and now I've lost everything. Alright. So we are missing an amazing painting. That is one we need, unless that's the one we got. Still, I think we shall take it. And hopefully it's an official painting, because we do actually kind of, you know, need them. Also, what's with that weird cupid to the left and the sword on the right? I mean, one of those things I'm just curious about, but the other thing I would actually very much like to buy, but the game will not acknowledge either of them. Why is Crazy Red selling a cupid? And why is he selling a sword that I'm not allowed to have? I want a sword, damn it. I have a painting for you, Blithers. I'm hoping it's official. Yay! It was official. Yeah, we haven't run into a single fake painting yet. That's actually pretty awesome. So now, we're just missing this one. Which I believe is the moving painting. I believe. Because on my list it says amazing painting, common painting, and moving painting, but we only need one. Because I was dumb enough not to actually cross it out when we got it last time. I forgot. Still, we are one step away from completing the museum. That's kind of an exciting thing. Unfortunately, it being a painting, it's entirely based on random, unlike the fish and the bugs, which are really just based around a set schedule. I mean, there is a certain sense of randomness to it, like, theoretically, you could know every bug and insect schedule and just never have them spawn out of sheer lack of luck, but... I mean, at least you can put yourself in the position to actually get them, whereas, you know, with paintings, there's, there's no ability to actually do that. Oh well, we are one step away from completing our museum, that's pretty cool. That is an exciting goal we can work towards. Although, it'll probably be a ways away yet. Alright, let's go to the next town. If nothing else, we need some more flowers. I've been collecting a lot of flowers from, like, a bunch of different gardens I've been tending in, in, you know, real life. But, uh, even though I've collected all these flowers for their seeds, now I have to actually, like, you know, dry them out and sift through them, and that's a big pain. But it'll be cool, because next year I'm gonna have, like, this crazy, like, super wildflower mix. I'm pretty excited about it. I got, like, a Tupperware container that's, like, half full of just seeds, and I still have several bags of just seed pods to sift through. And there's a little bit more I'd like to collect before this is all said and done. I just have to get a nice day to go and collect them. But, uh, gardening. It's a fun thing I'm somewhat good at. Waddle down the train. Give me your speech about how you don't recognize me, but then you kind of do, but you don't remember my name even though we talked just yesterday. And then just let me get on with my life, please. You silly cat. Let's 
still. I hope we get the last painting sometime soon. Because, I mean, I can say that our goal right now is to complete the museum, but seeing as that's sort of like a an auxiliary type of thing that we have no real way to work towards, you know, it, it doesn't really give us much of an actual goal that we can actively pursue. So, if we could finish that sooner rather than later, that would be just super for me, I think. Let's see if there's any new sports fair. Quetzal still buried something in the bee acres, and I'm sure we didn't find it. So we can take a look there. Of course, of course, we gotta go to the dump and collect all the stuff here. Proton. Rick Rack shirt. I don't think I've ever seen this shirt in this game before. It's not a very nice looking shirt. It's certainly no cool shirt, but you know, what is other than the legend itself, the cool shirt. I'd like to sell, Mr. Nook. Mostly these things. Not a lot of things, but still. Got some decent bells. Plus we got that painting. Only one left. Man, am I excited about that. That shirt makes you look like a candy cane. But I don't think I want it. So many of those dragonflies. I wish we got dragonflies in mass like that. I love dragonflies. They eat other bugs that tend to just be pests, and they're really cool. I know Ace. I shall talk to him about that handkerchief then. Consider it done, Belmer. Just as soon as we clean up the ground a little bit, because there's weeds everywhere. There's Goldie. Everyone's still here, no one's moved. I'm guessing no one moves because no one's actually, like, you know, played this town as a resident. That's the only thing I can think. I need a handkerchief face. The problem is, it's Velma who wanted it, which means, of course, this is going to be one that's going to be a pain to get back because she's the one who likes to teleport more than any other villager. Still, maybe we'll get lucky and she'll have not moved. We can all hope. Although, I wouldn't be too hopeful about it. She is Velma, after all. She's got mysteries to solve and stuff. Where did that cockroach come from? It looked like it came from the tree itself. It didn't look like it was on the bark or anything. Almost like it was behind the tree. I'll take some stationery, yeah. Alright, thanks, Velma. Now we can clean up our inventory a little. Alright. A letter to... Oh, it's the cool sparkle paper. I like the cool sparkle paper. It's sparkly. Alright, this. And... Whoops. Alright. Take that. Take this. And we'll take this. And suddenly we've got a lot more space to work with. Okay, we'll wander around and see if we can find Quetzal's hidden treasure. Pretty positive we didn't pick it up already. That's the problem though, it could be behind like any of these trees. Which means we're basically just digging at random at this point, hoping we see something. Oopsie. Hmm. 
still, I mean, I guess that's the essence of treasure hunting, trying to find clues and then just seeing if you can find something cool. I'm okay with that, I like treasure hunting. Finding treasure is fun. It's kind of why my loot videos tend to go long, because I think everything has like a fun story behind it. At least for me. I tend to find fun stories in what I do. Oh, I think we already dug past that house. I mean, it should be in one of these acres. I wouldn't think it'd be in this acre, because like, like I kind of said, there's just not really too much ever spawns in these acres. I think there's like special rules for it. Weeds can sometimes spawn, but they're pretty rare too. I think part of it's also just because it's a very limited like actual playing field for an area. But still. Looked through many of the bee acres. But have we found the legendary treasure of Quetzal? Which is probably just a pitfall. Not yet. Perhaps we never will. But we must try. It's entirely possible I picked it up the other day and I just don't remember. Or it could be a copy of Golf. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't think we have golf yet, actually. That's kind of cool. We might have to play some golf before this is over. NES golf is um, not that great, but it's not horrible either. It was the first Mario golf game. Back before they got the blokes who made Shining Force and Golden Sun on the job. Actually, uh, Mario Golf 64 is like the first of like maybe three golf games I ever played that I really liked. Uh, the other one offhand I can think of is like uh, Lifesavers Golf on CandyStand.com. That was an awesome Flash game. Back when Flash games were a thing. I kind of wish that like Flash games were still kind of as prevalent as they were back in the day. Like it was nice because you know being a kid with no money, if you're on the internet, you could actually play, like, legitimately good games. On places like CandyStand.com and, like, uh, Cartoon Network, back before, you know, it became whatever it is today. That's a website where you can make your own websites. Granted, they were all themed around, uh, Cartoon Network characters, but still, you could make your own web pages, and that's kind of cool. And it had those awesome, like, Tanami games, it had, uh... Flash animation back in the day. That stuff from like the banana splits for some bizarre reason. I I really, really did value my time back like in the like internet 1.0, spending it on candysand.com and Cartoon Network. Uh other great flash sites were Shockwave, of course. That also had like the ability to play pretty much any arcade game ever. EZone.com was a great one. That one's still around, too. You can still go and play, like, Lenny Loose Jocks and whatever. Which was, like, my jam back in the day. But, um... Candy Stand, that had so many really great Flash games. It had, like, the, um... Uh, the... Had some of the best, like, digital Flash pinball you could ever play with. The Lifesavers pinball. And the, the golf games were some of the best. Never really played a super great mini golf game other than that one, although I've seen one or two that look pretty interesting. Hey, Wendell's coming to town. There's also Zeke's, which I, I didn't find until sort of like the end of the Flash era. And uh, Rumpus, that was a good one too. And now all those sites are pretty much gone. Like, the only place I think you can still play Flash games pretty regularly is, like, Newgrounds, which is a website I've never really gotten into. I don't know. I I was just content going to, like, the Shockwave, Zeke's, Rumpus, and Candy Stand. Those were, like, where you went to play awesome games when you had no money. And the great thing about those Flash games is some of them were, like, actually really good. <laughs> like, they were basically triple-A quality 
but in Flash game. It was great. Come on, Superfish. Fox Kids had a really great one. They had a Digimon RPG, I remember that. Whoops. Ah! I missed the 10,000 bell fish. That sucks. Oh well, I caught the last few, so... I could see if someone's done with your handkerchief, Goldie. Pretty sure I know where Pierce is hanging out right now, anyway. What I find really bizarre about, like, the fact that most Flash games are just kind of gone off the internet is there's genuinely, like, no archives for them. Like, I, I talked about um, CartoonNetwork.com, and that was sort of where I first, like, learned about Flash games, and the first ones I played were, like, these awesome PC adventure games uh, based around, um, like, failed pilot characters for Cartoon Network stuff. It was, like, the Cartoon Summer Resort. Those games were awesome, but, uh, you just can't play them anymore. I even looked, like, to see if anyone found a way to archive them, but they just can't. Uh, let's see, golf. Got a white pawn, that's nice. Hey, Cookie needs a thing. Do you need a thing, Cookie? No. Actually, while we're here, we'll get rid of some mail. We've got three pages of fossils to get rid of. So there's the ball. Hopefully we won't need to give that to anyone because it's in such an awkward place. Next thing you know, Camo Frog will want it and they'll have to cart it around the entire map. Avoiding cliffs, even though it'll have to go down one and the river. Because the ball is the worst quest in all of Animal Crossing ever. Followed by writing letters. Because half the time they just don't really recognize letters. Unless you do something very specific, or you put in, like, a special password in the actual letters. Come on, fishy fish. I know you're not the super fish, but I'm gonna catch you anyway. Catch up for that. There we go. We got ourselves a rainbow trout. That's a fish I've actually caught. No, I fished a little when I was a kid, but I couldn't stand fish. I'm actually kind of like allergic to all seafood. But catching fish was pretty fun. Come on, Mr. Fishy Fish. Whatever you are, you won't add up to the total of the 10,000 bell fish I lost. And yes, I'm bitter about that, but... At least we get to catch fish. Maybe Peaches needs something. Let's go ask her. Did she disappear? But Peaches never goes anywhere. She did. Where could she be? Quest for the missing bright pink donkey. you come from? Did you just drop off that cliff? You silly locust. Actually, I think the migratory locust is worth like 2,000 bells. And I think it disappeared. Weird. Maybe Chow needs something. Loafing. I never loaf. I guess I don't need to help you. Wow, I never noticed how thin those dragonflies are. They are paper thin. Get rid of that. Gotta keep the town clean. Hey, there's Cube. Cube always needs something. See, he needs food. But then he won't ask for food usually. But you just said you needed food! <gasps> Superfish! I can have redemption. Hopefully. 
I'll turn it to be a car tire or something dumb. There we go. Awesome. Aw, oh, Cube looks happy. Why are you so happy? Steamed milk. I can't have milk. I don't know what steamed milk is to begin with. So. I do wear the coolest clothes. It's the cool shirt. Gracie designed my shirt, but thank you. Still want that Gracie shirt, though. Just wish I was a little better at her minigame. That button mashing is not my forte. Oh, we got a crucial car. What shall we swap it for? I think we'll swap it for bells. We should probably just go sell some stuff back home. Right, so let's go to Nooks. Unless, of course, we happen to see another super fish. Why wow, we don't run around the water. Alright. I have no idea where Peaches went. She normally doesn't leave her homemaker. Oh, there's Velma. I don't normally see people in Tom Nook's acre either. There's like some sort of statistic that limits animals from ever showing up there. Oh, I'm gonna keep golf. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. And make 12,000 bells. Yes, please. Alright. I'll take some cosmos. And we should take some tulips. And then I do believe we need some more tulips. We should also take some pansies. And finally, we can't leave this last bag alone. It'll miss its friends. I kind of wish I could make deposits in other towns. For some reason, you can't, though. And I would think it would have to do with tracking, like, the statistics, like it's just not a thing that happens, but if that's the case, why can't it track the statistics of why you've sent mail from other towns? I can't imagine it would be that much harder to program in that extra thing to track. Could be wrong, though. Well, I'm not just going to another town porter, I'm going home. Alright. We going home. And there he is. The most annoying cat of all time. Rover the cat. And they'll probably come by and just notice us, and they'll have to talk to us. And I'll be all like, oh, I don't want to deal with this guy. Oh, I don't want to deal with this guy. It's always like this, and yet he never takes a hint. No matter how much I tell him off, he always feels he needs to come and say the exact same lines to me every single day. Alright, back home where it's all gloomy and stuff. But we're in the town, and that's the important thing. Oh, right, we accidentally killed some flowers. We should go fix that. And that would be right here. Fix. 
Actually, I think I had white tulips there, but still. Let's not get too specific. Alright, so where are we around here? So we're about here. Plant that. Plant this. Plant that. And plant this. Alright, it's coming across real nice. Alright, uh, I guess we'll swim by the beach, see if there are any coelacanths around. We'll go make a deposit at the good old post office. That's a sea bass. Sea bass. This could also potentially be salmon, they have roughly the same size, and apparently salmon are salt water as well as fresh water, which I think is the only fish in the game that's like that. Fortunately, respawning the town probably doesn't mean that we'll get more stuff at reds. Well, that would be nice, seeing as I still need that last painting. Let me see the cans over here. I could use some extra bells now, just to see bass. Ooh, I didn't see this before, though. Oh. Ourselves another fossil. Well, I think we can get rid of these fossils tomorrow. We have a couple outside our door, too. But we really should make those deposits. Because the bells at this point are just taking spots in our inventory. Alright, I'd like to make a deposit, Phyllis. 300,000 more to go. And away we go. And we still have that little bit of treasure we found that we can go play with. Doesn't look like there are any super fish around. Absolutely put stuff there. Hey. Let's play the original Mario Golf. It's been forever since I played this. I used to play the crap out of this originally on Animal Crossing. Never been good at golf games though. I'm trying to get better in Dark Cloud 2, because you kind of have to if you want to 100% that game. Okay, the one's going to the right. That's not how to do that very well. Wow, I am awful at this. Now, if I recall, it was the sequel to this that made Daisy a character in the Mario Mythos, because Luigi needed a caddy as well as Mario. So she's basically just a reskinned peach. Alright. Well, that was terrible. I also remember the Game Boy version of this, or at least the Game Boy Golf game Nintendo put out as being not particularly good, just by virtue of the fact that it had to rely on using textures to convey information, which kind of made it really muddied. And like this game, it doesn't really tell you any idea of like what the different clubs are going to do, so unless you're at least somewhat familiar with golf, it's not going to do too much good for you. I wouldn't say this is the worst NES game available in Animal Crossing, that's obviously DK Junior Math, but I, I definitely think this is probably one of the least interesting ones, for sure. Tennis isn't very good either. And you actually have to work pretty hard to get tennis. Ah, screw it. Like, you know, I, I don't know why they would put two NES games as exclusive to the 
Game Boy Advance Island and then make one of them tennis. It, it just doesn't make sense. Like, Wario's Woods, that's like a ridiculously impressive NES game. I mean, it was the last one. But, you know, to make the other one tennis, that's a little bizarre. And we're still missing a couple gyroids I'd like. And of course, I think we're missing something like 18 more before we've got the full set in our catalog. But, it's more to work towards, like, the painting collection. We are so close to finishing. But that will be for another day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night, as well as other stuff when I happen to have the time. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is over a thousand videos waiting just for you, and not just Animal Crossing, but pretty much any kind of game you can think of. I've probably got something that'll interest you, and a ton of stuff most people don't even know about. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon, support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is finding Quetzal's Lost Treasure, which is NES Golf, but it's not as bad as DK Junior Math, so that's the important thing. Plus, you'll get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about awesome things like not DK Junior Math and catching the Superfish for redemption, because, you know, you just got to. Also, we're almost done the museum. How exciting is that? We just need one more painting. We just have to get through random number generation to get it. We're never going to finish the museum, are we? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.